What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, it's a rough day for my buddy, Philly 500, who is finding out that the Eagles may be allowing Hassan Reddick to get away, their best pass rusher. He is definitely fighting depression. And I will say... Um, this is insane how much has been going on with the Dallas Cowboys this offseason. Um, this has been like the offseason on steroids. It's been crazy because it's just hard to keep up um, with everything that's going on. Just in the last 24 hours, we've heard CeeDee Lamb basically say, I want to get the biggest bag of money you know, as a wide receiver that his mom doesn't speak for him. Um, we've heard Stephen A. Smith say that the reason he hates Dak Prescott is he's too perfect. Um, we still are dealing with the um, Mike Zimmer contract, and we have Jerry Jones talking about going all in. It's literally where the Super Bowl is a sideshow. It, it literally is a sideshow. There's so much that's going on with the Cowboys with actually not anything going on. It's all talk and conversation. And so earlier today we heard that um, Cowboys are working on or will be working on Dak Prescott's extension, um, which will make ha haters pissed off, I'm sure, that they won't like that, um, and so on. But we also heard Rex Ryan saying that he basically called Mike McCarthy about the job opening for defensive coordinator because he basically is looking at the chops of trying to wanting to be the defensive coordinator. And here's the thing that I'm hearing. Now, don't shoot the messenger, deal with the message. You'll remember it was Thursday night, <clears throat> Thursday night that we heard that the Cowboys were going to be hiring Mike Zimmer. Right? Okay, no problem. It's Sunday. It's taking this long for the Cowboys to get this thing done. Rex Ryan says, uh, again, I don't know if Rex Ryan has any inside information or if he's really good friends with Mike McCarthy, because it seems to be that he's saying it's not done just yet. And the Cowboys, you know how we're dealing with Catboy, how that can be. So we're sitting here with Catboy and knowing that he can mess up a deal. My thing is this, you are trying to hire a guy who's been unemployed for the last two years. It's not like he's had interviews with anybody else. You've got no competition, and you can't seem to get this deal done. Let's listen to this tape. Uh, let's go to the tape and listen to Rex Ryan and the situation that they're talking about. A half million dollars with a $34 million base salary. Ideally, they'd like to try to get a deal done, but the fact of the matter is Dak Prescott has got enormous leverage in the yeah. fact that they can't tag him and they can't trade him, and that'll be the biggest thing the Cowboys want to do. They want to go for the Super Bowl, but they can't do it without Dak Prescott's mm -hmm. cooperation on a long-term deal that lowers the cap number. And this past week, the Dallas Cowboys went ahead yes. and hired Mike Zimmer as their defensive Did coordinator. They? He rejoins the Dallas Cowboys after serving in Dallas as their prior defensive coordinator from 2000 to 2006 before becoming the Vikings head coach later on. Obviously, they talked to a wide number of candidates like our own Rex Ryan, and I can tell you this, they loved Rex. They were highly impressed with Rex. Rex made quite a mark on the Jones family, and I'm a little surprised they didn't hire him with as much mm. as they loved him, but we're quite happy that they did, and we're happy to have him here, and this will be a big year for the Dallas Cowboys without him, Mike McCarthy, on the last year of his contract. So Rex has got security here. He doesn't have to worry about a head coach on this set being in the last year of his deal. I just keep getting offended because everyone tries to take you away from us, okay? It's, Nobody it's, does. It's, it's, it's hard. No, we love Rex. having you Rex. here. Hey, I know we have fight, don't you? Oh, yeah. hey, no question. <laughs> okay. it, and I can, I can honestly say right here, first off, I'm not so sure that Zimmer's got that job right now. Not real sure about that. Um, I can honestly say I'm... I, I'm, I don't believe that's a fact right now. Um, there you go. But I, I will say this. The reason I was so – like this is – I've been out for seven years. I've never called another head coach or anything like that. I called Mike McCarthy. And the reason I did is because I want to be on this stage. 
I want to be back on this stage if I'm going to get back into coaching, have a chance at that. I think with this roster the way it is, I think offensively, special teams and defense, and I figured I can make maybe even a little bit of an upgrade that they could be right here. That's why I was interested. I don't, un, un, you know, it's funny how, well, should we get to, no, your team has no chance at me, okay? That, that's generally the case. I would only go at the right, the, the right situation. And if it's not completely right, then I'm not going. But this team, it is interesting because they are so close to getting over that edge, and that's why I think people would be interested in this job. Well, the closeness is on them. The problem is the defensive side of the ball, in my opinion. It's almost Dan Quinn, him leaving, I think, is almost a good thing because where did the Cowboys struggle and where must they succeed against these teams like the San Francisco 49ers, like the Green Bay Packers? These are teams that run similar systems. Those Shanahan's, okay, you've got LaFleur running it also in Green Bay. Green Bay eliminated them. I mean, it's, it's just a system that I've seen them have problems with. So the changes on the defensive side of the ball to eventually you're going to have to run mm -hmm. through this system. I don't know which team, whether it's the Niners or the Packers or somebody, but the Cowboys have problems against it. It's obvious in those two games that they, they had against those teams. It's so true. Hopefully Zimmer can have can have a little bit more success, or you probably could have had a little bit more success too. <laughs> Tell him, bro. Let's see. <laughs> you know, when, I, when, I, when I look at this, I, I look at the you know the problem for the Dallas Cowboys. All of all, all of last season, and it, it, it was the defense. And you know, one of the things that stood out to me, you have 11 guys, and I, I forget I forget his name, but I remember number 14 at the linebacker position. Mm -hmm. no, and no. we kept yep. we Notice kept talking, talking about how undersized he was. And I said to myself, okay, that's like week four or week five, but he's still at the linebacker position in week 12 and week 13. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, there's some free agents out there put a little bit more beef back in the linebacker position. Whoever it is for the defensive coordinator, they need to be able to get the best out of this defense. You got mm -hmm. one of the best players in Parsons in all of football but he fades out at the end. So, like I said, whoever that coordinator, you need to get the best out of his defense led by Parsons. Yeah, I tell you what, though, yep. you got a great start because you got guys that can play man coverage on the outside. That's rare in today's game. So, Micah Parsons, to me, I mean, is the biggest X factor maybe in the National Football League. Your job as a coordinator, Mike Zimmers, whoever, would be we got to find some one-on-one -on -one opportunities because nobody can block this man one-on-one. -on -one. So it would be interesting to see what's I mean, going to happen. You guys are talking defense. I want to go to the offensive side of the ball. And Here's where you can talking roll. about uh, restructuring Dax Prescott's contract, and, and I think he's a fabulous player, a wonderful man, great representation for the National Football League. But at Dallas, they play for championships. Winning divisions, um, winning 10, 12 games a year is not good enough. You have to perform at the, at the biggest moments. And with a 2-5 and five record in the playoffs, uh, it, it has to be better. He, he has to be able to galvanize those guys, get them to believe that he's capable of leading them to be able to, be able to play on this stage. And, um, and I, I, I need to see that. You know, the reason they replaced Tony Romo with Dak Prescott is because he couldn't win the big games. And I'm starting to see the same trend with Dak. We were over here debating. Actually, the reason why Tony Romo got replaced was Tony Romo's body kept failing him. Had that not been the case, uh, Tony Romo would have still been the quarterback for the Cowboys and Dak Prescott would have never gotten his opportunity. Brock in his value to bring that back to this game. Would you take Dak Prescott over Brock Purdy, Larry? No, that, that's tough to say because you know who knows who knows what 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 Dak would do with the talent. Don't, don't give me your, no, no, your politician no, saying, answer no, no, right it's, now, it's, Larry. It's hard to say. But no, no, I would I would not take him in in, in this moment right now. I, right. That, I would I would struggle based on what I've seen. Um, you know, he puts up big numbers, but he just doesn't make the decisive plays to be able to get over the top. You talk about Patrick Mahomes. There's never a moment in the game of magnitude when you think, is he going to make this throw? Is he going to make this play? Because you've seen it time and time again, and Dak has the ability to do that. We just need to see it consistently in the biggest moments. Yeah, you're not wondering that. You're wondering if the receivers are going to catch the ball yeah. like they had a trouble with this season. Okay. There we go. Rex Ryan seems like he really wants this job. So, we'll see. As he put it, this thing ain't done yet. And this makes you wonder, are the Cowboys thinking, rethinking this? I don't know. Stay tuned, friends, because it's always some drama. When you're talking about the Dallas Cowboys, I'm Mark Holmes, and I'll see you soon.